Hey friends, Brian is here, and as much as I tell people not to vlog or vlog and drive, I'm vlogging and driving. So today we're on a fun little outing in a truck I borrowed from work um, to go pick up another thing for the arcade. So I'll give you two seconds to guess what it is, but I've been wanting one for quite a while, and the people around here in Houston are very proud of them, but I happened to find a guy that was pretty nice, kind of didn't know how to fix it, but it's an EM pinball machine. It's 1966, I think. I think so. Um, a go-go. So if you want to show the, the back box is in the back and the rest of it's in the uh, bed of the truck. So I, I had a bet with Launchbox that once I got this one, she would let me get more. <laughs> no, I, I, not just let me, but want me to get more. And the reasoning behind that is threefold. First, I want to figure out how it works, go through it and fix it, fix it up, make it like new if I can. Second is uh, we want to have an arcade night with our kids when we get older. And the third one is once I figure out how to do this one, I can teach that little boy that she's carrying what they're for, what the switches do, and how it all works. So he'll, you know, get that knowledge. So I'm pretty sure that once that happens, she's going to let me get more of it. Anyway. <laughs> okay, it's next weekend, and, you know, we got carried away again, and I told you she'd let me get another one. Well, I just picked up a, I think it's a 73 Valley Circus. It's very nice. It's very pretty. The back, the, the cab part is not in quite such good shape as the back glass there, but that's easily enough fixed. It just looks very dirty. Mm -hmm. So, well, sorry. We're on our way now to actually get a, another one. Because. <laughs> You know, this is like an hour and a half away from our damn house, and I convinced these two people to meet me like a half hour, 45 minutes apart. So we're actually going to a storage shed to meet another dude. Um, we're going to have to help him dig his shit out so that we can get the pinball machine in. But hopefully it won't be as big of a job as he kind of made it sound like. But we'll check in after we're done with that. Yeah. Okay, we just met a pretty cool guy out that I met on the inside. Lived up in spring over here, so we were up in the southern one, like I said. So we got a four queens. It's a little beat, to be honest, but it yeah, that's what makes it fun is trying to restore them. So, pretty cool guy. We talked for a while. He's got a lot of cool shit in his storage shed. If I had more money and space, we might have come home with the jukebox from that last guy, and this guy had a pong machine.
You never know. This is a Little Chief, I believe, and a Mayfair. Here's this other one, it's got some issues. But we're getting it. Back boxes. So, my little adventure, you know, about blowing through my Christmas bonus ends thusly. So we got Little Chief which is back boxes right there. It's very good shape. This one almost works. Um, it turns up, it does stuff. I forget what's wrong with it specifically, but it was very minor and probably wouldn't take too long to fix. It didn't go to zero. Oh, this one doesn't zero, so we'll have to fix that. So this one's Mayfair. It had a, there was something wrong with the score reels again. And the coil that was humming. That's, yeah, that's part of the, I mean, that's a score relay. But there was something in here too, wasn't there? I couldn't tell if it was two, but there was one back in the back box. Okay. Um, it's back box is this one. Then we have uh, Falstaff. 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 When, when Falstaff laughs, everyone laughs. From 1957. This one's pretty old, but it's pretty beat, so this one can take some love. Let's see if they get back the Back box is there. To buy or not to buy? We're staying on the light. Um, then we got Circus, which this one was found. I don't know if I said that, but he found it in a, like he bought a storage shed and it was in there. And he was going to sell it for parts, but we're going to make it work. There's obviously it's back box. Looks like that one's in pretty good shape. Then there's four queens. That one's not bad. The cabinet's got some pretty good issues. There's a lot of the veneer coming off. Um, I have no idea. He said it kind of worked, but I didn't ever get it plugged in because we bought it from a storage shed. So we'll give it the once over and hopefully it'll come back on. It's back box is the green one there. Uh, we got the first one, a go-go. It turns on, but it didn't start. There's something wrong with some of the reset or whatever. It's back box is obviously the one that says go-go. And then we got Surf Queens, which is all gummed up as we showed, or may not showed, but this one we didn't show us getting because the guy brought it to me. He was kind enough to deliver it from somewhere in Dallas for a fairly reasonable price, which cost us as much in gas to go get these other ones as he charged me to deliver it so it's back box has some issues I got a line on a replacement hopefully he still got it um, if not we're gonna have to stabilize it and leave it or 
do something drastic, I guess, because I cannot find a new one, and I can't find the schematics for this one. But we're working through it. Looks good. Hopefully we can get them all working again. Well, I know we can get them all working. Hopefully we can get them all shiny and new. It'll be fun. Several years, I would imagine. But it was pretty cool. This, it was this one, well, both of these, he had them on and showed us, they're deathly loud. I don't remember them being that loud, but it was incredibly loud. Especially the, the flippers on on this one, it sounded like a damn gun. So, all right, well, I guess, let us know what you think, and we'll go from there. Keep it real. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.